all right and welcome back everyone in this video we're gonna size both a bf bar in this video in this two-part video we're gonna size both of our flow reactors a csgr and a bfr this video is gonna focus on the csgr all right so pause the video for a second and give the problem a read okay one two three i'm hoping you guys are back and you've read the problem so let's uh, read it together once again the above reaction okay one mole of a reacts with one mole of b to give me c everything is in liquid phase everything is in liquid phase all right that's gonna make my life easier now the reaction needs to be carried out in a flow reactor your job is to develop the develop the equations okay not solve develop the equations <coughs> my bad size a csdr and a pfr okay good based on the conversion based on the conversion of species a so we're just following the trend in the first five chapters of fogler fifth edition you have been told that the feed is equimolar the feed is equimolar equal moles of a and equal moles of b good with respect to reactants and then there's no product in the feed okay no product in the field good isothermal uh, no product in the feed isothermal operation very good all right based on that let's go ahead and size ourselves a cstr shall we so my assumptions have been laid out okay steady state that's going to be important that's going to be helpful incompressible good assumption for liquids isothermal no pressure drop great so let's start off with our design equation <coughs> my excuse me design equation for a CSTR. I know I'm sizing a CSTR in this video. So this video, I'm just let me. This is going to be for the CSTR, and the next part is going to deal with the BFR. Design equation is going to be whoa. All right, so volume of CSTR is equal to negative inlet flow rate of A times the desired conversion divided by the rate at which A is disappearing. And so far, if you've been following along, okay. Now we're just gonna replace FA naught, FA naught with the inlet volumetric flow rate and the inlet concentration of A. Okay, keep in mind we're just developing the equations right now. We're just developing the equations right now. All right. Uh, and the rate expression, the rate expression. For our, so for a reversible reaction, one mole of A reacts with one mole of B. That's the forward reaction. In the reverse reaction, one mole of C one mole of c reacts to give the following a and b so for a reversible reaction we have to write a rate law for a reversible reaction we're about to write a rate law for a reversible reaction and if you guys are having trouble with this please refer to chapter four please refer to chapter four of fogler fifth edition rate law for reversible reaction good all right so the rate at which a is disappearing Okay, the rate at which A is disappearing. That's going to be the, okay. Whew, okay, so the forward reaction, the forward reaction is going to be K1 times CACB. And the reverse reaction, the reverse reaction is going to be K2 times CB. Okay, the reversible reaction. But now this, re this rate expression is usually written as you factor out K1. You factor out K1, you get CA cb minus k2 over k1 okay so just some simple algebra and this right here all right so this ratio right here we know that if you have from a general chemistry class from a general chemistry class we know that k1 over k2 is the equilibrium constant that's the equilibrium constant okay so we're going to make that substitution we're going to make that substitution and our rate expression the one that we're going to use takes this form k1 okay k1 is our forward rate constant minus c oh sorry this was cc my bad my bad my bad sorry oh, hold on sorry there we go all right okay sorry about that k c okay so this is the rate expression that we'll, we're going to be using our third equation okay let's zoom out a little bit have to zoom out now let's combine. Now we're going to combine. Okay. Combine one, two, 
and 3. Okay, so let's see what we get. The volume of the CSTR is going to be equal to volumetric inlet volumetric flow rate times the inlet concentration of A times the desired conversion divided by the forward rate constant CA, CB. These are the exit concentrations. CA, CB are the exit concentrations. CC is also the exit concentration. Okay, so now let's see what do we need to take care of. Now, all right, my design equation. Now we need to take care of the exit concentrations, okay? So now it's time to take care of our stoichiometry, okay? <coughs> and keep in mind, I, I combine my, uh, I usually combine one, two, and three, but if you, you can go ahead, you can just like, uh, you don't, you do not need to combine there. You can just like, uh, once you have the rate expression, you can jump directly to stoichiometry. You, you don't need to combine, okay? So you can jump directly to stoichiometry if you want. You don't need to combine one, two, and three. You can combine once you have the other equations as well. It's perfectly fine. So it's optional, okay? Stoichiometry, all right. So I need to know, and this is in liquid phase. This is in liquid phase, good. All right, so my exit concentration of A, hold on, let's just color code this, shall we? Okay, all right, now we're just gonna use different colors. Okay, that's gonna, that's for the aesthetics, yeah. Exit concentration of A is going to be inlet concentration of A times 1 minus the fraction that has reacted. 1 minus the conversion. Okay, we know that. Now, A is, A is pretty obvious. A is pretty obvious. B and C are a little... B and C are slightly less obvious. So the expression that I'm going to use, the expression that we were about to use, is going to be C A... The exit concentration in terms of C A naught is going to be C A naught times theta B minus... Uh, the stoic coefficient x just to, just to rewrite the uh, reaction just to rewrite the reaction here okay good all right great wonderful and cb and c sub b is going to be just c a naught theta c plus x okay i'm using the correct stoichiometric coefficients okay i'm using the correct stoichiometric coefficients good let's zoom out a little oops okay now, all right, what are these theta terms? All right, um, let's stop for a moment and talk about these thetas. All right, theta, okay, what is theta? Theta, my friends, theta, my good friends, is just theta of species i is the ratio of inlet moles of i, inlet moles of i to inlet moles of a, inlet moles of i to inlet moles of a okay and now let's see do we know theta b and do we know theta c let's see if we can do that let's see theta b is one why is that why is that equimolar feed equimolar feed which means the inlet moles of both the ratio of inlet moles of b is equal the ratio of <laughs> sorry the ratio of inlet moles of b and inlet moles of a is one because we have the same amount, we have an equimolar feed. And theta c is gonna be zero, because there are no inlet moles of A. There are no inlet moles of A, moles of C, sorry, sorry, sorry. No inlet moles of C, no inlet moles of C. Okay, good. And with that, let's just, uh, let's just rewrite our expressions. I'm gonna rewrite my stoichiometric expressions once again, Whew, okay. C A naught becomes, oh, sorry, C A, my bad. <laughs> C A is equal to C A naught times 1 minus X. C B becomes, C B becomes C A naught 1 minus X because theta, theta B is 1. And C C, wait, sorry, this was C sub C. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, sorry. C A naught x good and now let's combine our stoichiometry uh let's see equation four equation five equation six good and let's combine let's combine now it's time to combine four 
five and six with our design equation. All right, so let's uh, grab our design equation. Here, I'm, I'm gonna rewrite this. Why do, why, am I, why do I need to rewrite this one? I can just copy, drag down, and paste. Good, all right. So let's see, all right, boys, all right, boys and girls. Volume of CSDR is gonna equal V naught C A naught X divided by K one. Okay, C A times C B. I'm gonna skip some steps. I'm gonna skip some algebraic steps. Okay, I'm skipping some algebraic steps. Okay. And to even further simplify this, to further simplify this, I'm gonna factor out I'm going to factor out C A naught from the denominator. Okay, I'm going to factor out C A naught from the denominator. And that becomes K1 times C A naught. You have 1 minus X squared minus X over, there's a C A naught here, over K C. So C A naught in the numerator and the denominator book. Now let's uh, rewrite this in as, and I'm gonna be as neat as possible. Volumetric flow rate times the desired conversion divided by K1 multiplied by CA naught times one minus X squared minus X over KC. And that, ladies and gentlemen, this is my final design equation. This is the uh, final form, right? This is the final form, yay. But, and we did not have to wait three episodes for this. We have the final form of our CSTR equation. And now I want you to so, try to solve this for, try to plug and chug, solve this for the following parameters. An inlet volumetric flow rate of three meter cube per second, an inlet concentration of one mole per meter cube okay sorry one uh, I meant 10 moles per meter cube okay and what else the reaction constant is 0 0.5 um, what's the correct units uh, the correct units are gonna be meter cube per mole second I believe okay um, yeah I think I believe these are the units and KC is gonna be 2 AC is going to be 2. What's going to be the, uh, and the units are going to be mole per meter cube for KC. All right, good. So for these parameters, see if you can get an answer. See if you can get a volume and leave it in the comments. Leave it in the comments, whatever answer you get. And I'll let you guys know if we got the same answer or not. All right. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And uh, I hope this, uh, I, uh, let me leave in the comments if you have any, um, if you feel like there's any discrepancy or anything, alright? Feel free to let me know. Alright, thank you so much, guys.